Hi everybody, it's Stephanie Fit from FitBodies.com. Also Stephanie Fit Bodies on Instagram and Facebook. I'm Fit Bodies. I really appreciate your patience. I haven't posted in a while. I'm a high school PE teacher and it was just crunch time this last semester. So it's finally summer break. You can tell I'm taking a break from the summer festivities to show you my favorite smoothie recipe for summertime. Yeah, you can take what I'm showing you and adapt it to you. Of course, what works for me doesn't always work for everybody else. But I'm gonna show you, I get a lot of questions about what I do when I'm on the go and when I'm busy playing and having fun. Sometimes I don't have time or don't wanna take the time to prepare this big meal. And so a smoothie is something that I can grab and go or if I'm hanging out outside with the dogs and the kids and the water and the sun, something that's refreshing and super healthy. Um, okay, so here's what I've got. Blender, and I've already filled the blender to about two cups, I use canned coconut milk. Now you could use the container of coconut milk that you get the from the refrigerated section, but oftentimes there are additives to that. And I'm really trying to decrease the amount of additives and flavorings and chemicals in my life. It doesn't mean I'm perfect and doesn't mean you have to be perfect. You could use whatever floats your boat. Um, but today's recipe is a can of coconut milk, including the, the creamy, harder stuff that's at the top that's more buttery. I add that as well and then I fill this with water um, until it's about two cups, maybe a little bit more of liquid. This makes it nice and creamy. Again, if you don't like coconut milk, use almond milk or hemp milk or flax milk. Just make sure there's as few additives as possible. Um, also, I recommend, you know, rotating. You don't want to do the same thing all the time. So this is what I do in the summer often is the coconut, because coconuts make me think of summertime. But um, you know, maybe in the winter time I use hemp or flax or almond, or I just rotate so that I don't get stuck on the same thing. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna add, uh, this is, these are chia seeds that I've soaked already. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna add a nice big spoonful of chia seeds. I soak them overnight. I keep them in a jar in my fridge and I soak them. These are soaked in almond milk. All right, uh, let's see what else have I got here. These are fresh ground flax seeds. I store flax seeds in my fridge to keep them fresh and I grind them right before I eat. I don't always add these every single time. Um, the, the jury's out. Some experts say that they help balance hormones and others say stay away, especially if you've had hormone based cancers. Um, I haven't, you know, I've seen a lot of both. So instead of eating them every day or never eating them, I consume them once in a while. I figure I'm gonna split the middle. And since I'm a breast cancer survivor, I wanna do what's best for my health, but I also wanna, you know, be careful. So once in a while, so today I'm adding that in. Um, I add cinnamon, love the antioxidant properties of cinnamon, shredded coconut, no sugar added. Okay, make sure that there's no sugar. And read your label, make sure there's limited chemicals and additives. Um, anything that says natural flavorings means it's got MSG in it. We're trying to avoid that as well. Um, I already put a scoop of collagen and peptides in for hair, skin, and nails. Let's see what else. Oh, MCT oil. Forgot to add that. This is for brain health. Skin and hair, I love it. Extra fullness to add the fats in there. I use real salt. I do add salt to my smoothies. Crazy, right? Um, I want the trace minerals that are in here. This is not processed. This isn't your iodized salt that, that you get in your little shaker and uh, from your kitchen counter. This is um, unprocessed real salt. This particular is um, ancient fine sea salt mined from the Great Salt Lake in Salt Lake City area. But you could use Himalayan sea salt or sea salt or anything that's Celtic sea salt, I guess, is another brand. But anything that's real, that's unprocessed, um, I add that because I need those trace minerals. Let's see, okay, oh, MSM, there we go. I add the MSM for the anti-inflammatory properties and gut healing, helps my joints as well. You're gonna add whatever protein powder or drink mix powder that you like. Um, I There's several brands that I like, but I'm using, there's two scoops in here. I don't 
need two scoops. All right, here we go. I use a heaping scoop. This is vegan vanilla. And um, the brand I'm using today is Shakeology, but there's all kinds of great brands out there. You research and find what works for you. I'm also going to add, hold that thought. I gotta get my blueberries out. It's summertime and I think of blueberries with their antioxidant properties. I'm gonna add a generous amount of blueberries. Um, you could add any kind of berry that you like. Just make sure they're, they're organic, all right? Berries soak up a lot of the pesticides and we don't want those, so make sure they're organic. I get mine at Costco. They're frozen organic, but fresh in season is fantastic as well. Um, I think that's it. I'm looking at all my ingredients. Yeah, I just blend this up and I won't bother you. You know how to blend stuff. I blend it up and I chug it down while I'm outside in the sun, soaking up some vitamin D and hopefully some vitamin C, uh, S-E-A, vitamin C. Um, anyway, there's, there's lots of ways to personalize this. Again, there's no one right way. You've got to do you and do what works for you. But I just wanted to share, I've had lots of questions about uh, what kind of smoothies I do. Notice I didn't add any greens. The... The powder that I use has greens in it, so I don't have to bother. Plus, um, there's a lot of people who believe that greens should be cooked like kale and spinach, that eating them raw is a little harder to, di to digest, and, um, and so they recommend cooking them. So I just get the, the, the drink mix that already has the greens in it, then I don't have to worry about that. And then I can cook my greens later for dinner. Anyhow, I really appreciate you tuning in. It's been a while. Thank you so much for your support and for subscribing. You can subscribe below if you haven't already. And you can follow me on my different social media sites. Also look below. I'll put a description and I'll actually write out the recipe for you if you'd like. And um, check out my other info, uh, my other videos. And look for more this summer. I've got a little bit more time on my hands. So I'm going to share a little bit more about what I'm learning. And until next time, everybody, peace out.